This has been spectacular wrestling here at the 1999 state championships. We move up to 135, Ryan Maurer from section 11. He's only a 10th grader. Too many pages, take it back to 130. Paul Bruno at 130 from section eight. Mike Messina from section 11. Hop Hog out of Smithtown on Long Island, section 11. A lot of guys from section 11 in the state finals. Both guys 12th graders. Bruno 44-0, Messina 35-2. Just the beginning here of this 130 pound bout. The official, Russ Tronalone, who was the assistant earlier. Dave Essex, the assistant, as they watch this 130 pound bout unfold. Bruno from Section 8, it's an all Long Island final here at 130. From Mineola. I wonder if these guys haven't wrestled before somewhere on Long Island. Right there, section 11 takes down section 8. So Messina from Hopog gets the first two points. Bruno escapes. 2 1. A lot of action there. He's going to get a takedown if Messina doesn't watch it. Bruno brings him back in. Never seen him two. Never gave him two points. Never gave him two points. Two points. Again, the referees got together. Again, I think that was a very good call. And I think Trinalone made the call when he was the assistant, and now he's had it done to him. <laughs> Not it done to him. I shouldn't say that. Done with him. Done with him. That's right. So it's 3-2. Now it's going to be 3-3, three, three, so it's a new match. Once again, I think that's very good that the officials can work together and come up with what is hopefully the right call. Well, if they wanted to listen to the crowd, the crowd, the crowd, the crowd was giving them two, right? Yeah, the crowd agreed with that uh, change of call or not call. So we go into the second period tied at three apiece. Uh, Bruno and Messina. Messina's coach, Chris Messina. Here's that takedown right here on the replay. See, he tries to drive out of bounds. He keeps him. See, right there, he's down. He's behind. His knee is down. Then he comes up. Right. Who was there? Right. And then he the dumps him, but right. the, the takedown had already happened. The takedown, his knees were down, and he was behind. The two was there. Messina on top. And Bruno stands up. Bruno's had good luck uh, standing up and, and, and getting the hands off, Doug. Hand control is so important, whether you're the top man or the bottom man. Got to have hand control. Both guys, a little upper body, nice shot by Shasina. Nice Gonna get two right there. He had to let, same thing as before, the knee was down when he you know, came up on top and wrapped his arms around him. Both of these guys like to be on their feet. Five to five now. Both wrestlers good on their feet. One ten left, second period. Arm drag attempt by Messina. He's been he's been very aggressive, Messina. Got to get out. He may get two here. He does right there. He's not able to get down, but. All the weight was on his hands, his hands. and then they're, they're considered the four supporting parts. Messina getting stronger as it moves on. He's up by two, seven to five. Lots of scoring on this bout. Bruno from Mineola undefeated. He's got his work cut out for him, although he's been great getting up off the bottom. Let's see if he gets up. Oh, he's just going to let him up. So he optional start. Optional Give start. One point. Yep. Seven six. I would say Messina seems to have, you know, he's getting the upper hand. As I say that, uh, Bruno should stand in. Uh, Bruno taller. Sometimes that's an advantage, sometimes it is. It'll be a stalemate here in a minute. There it is. Okay, hey, don't step in. Don't step in. 
31 seconds left second period. Both guys comfortable on their feet. Messina, shorter, perhaps stronger. Bruno a little smoother, but 7-6. And Messina's on top and being very aggressive. Yeah, I was gonna say, a little bit of a warning there now for Bruno. You gotta try to watch the clock. Oh, Bruno's gonna get caught for two. He stretched himself out. And Messina took good advantage of that. And you know what? Messina knew he could hold him down because there was only a little bit of time left. A smart play by Messina. Start injury time. You have a minute and a half to uh, on injury time. And if you can't go back out, here's see how he stretches. He's expand, extended himself way too much, and Messina did a nice job pushing that arm up and taking him down. And you know, he caught Bruno looking at the clock. Just before that, he was taking a look to see how much time there was left, and Messina took advantage of it and then rode him out. You notice both wrestlers seem to be, you know, looking at the clock. I don't know if that's, you know, they should I let him up? Do I have enough time to let him up and take him down? Because you don't want to give nothing, a point there for nothing. Right. Trainer from Section 8 is checking out as you see the replay. Don't know whether anything happened on that, but uh, the trainer checking out. Bo Bruno gets up a little gingerly. These guys are in good shape. He shakes it off, and Messina waiting for him in the circle. Bruno's going to do the same thing. He's going to the optional start. And Messina is super aggressive. And Bruno has already been warned, right, for stalling? Yes. Yeah, so. He can't afford to stall. He's got to get the takedown. He's down. Not to mention the fact he can't afford that Messina is getting stronger, and he's going to get a quick two right there. That's 12-6. Mike Messina out of a hot hog high school in Suffolk County in Long Island is just like that, got a six point lead and he, Bruno looked a little, I don't wanna say tired, but he doesn't look as sharp as he did earlier, Doc. Right, you don't know if it's been, you know, that injury could also, you know, be in the back of his mind or, you know, it could be something that's bothering him. Cause he's right, he doesn't look nearly as sharp now as he did in the beginning. And Messina, I believe that would be his dad who's one of the coaches if not, he's uh, got a, a great resemblance to uh, to Mike Messina. And they had the same last name. Yeah, yeah, that's another clue. So Messina, I might have ridden him out for a little while. I don't know whether I would have let, let him up. It's 14-7. Uh, at least if you ride, you know you're probably not going to get the, the five-point move. But Messina, 14-8. And Bruno looks a little I, bit tired. I know in dual meets, uh, you might want to do that simply because if you beat him by eight or more, sure. you get a uh, four point or 12 or more, you get a you know, five point, so. I don't think that's what he's looking for. He gets to get the point for stalling, so it's 15 now. Bruno got hit for one. I think I'd get behind and I'd, I'd ride. There's 32 seconds to the right. match. Well, Messina just has been super aggressive. I watched him in the warmups just standing on the mat really an aggressive kid and it's it's paid off here but that's, that's the mistake you don't want to make what you have to watch out for you don't want to get caught in any move like that you gotta keep your elbows in you gotta stay low yeah i might i might just i might take that time to stall now if i were to see no, he hasn't been born no and, you know that might be something you know i don't say stall but i'm saying i certainly wouldn't be overly aggressive right or yes make a commitment that's uh, going to cost you but of course that's, that's my thought he just gets two, two, two more points all right <laughs> Touche on that one. It, go, it goes for a cradle. He's not stopped yet. No. You know what? That's his style, and that's that's what got him here, and that's what's going to get him the state championship. So 130 pounds, great bout. But Mike Messina from Hot Hog High School in Section 11 defeats Bo Baruno from Mineola in Section 8. But a real nice bout. Mike another Messina, match. just another nice match, and, and just the aggressiveness paid off. It was a super bout. Dad. Great moment there. So the state champ, 130 pounds. Mike Messina just did a great job. But just like that, we move up. 
where I was earlier, smaller. <laughs> <laughs>